Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial about how to use the Oil Games website as you move through the Oil Games training. This is Patrick Shedevy, and I'm just going to walk you through uh, so you have a good feel for how this website works. So uh, you should have received or you will receive on the first training day uh, of your games an email and a text message with a link to the first day of training. And if you click on that link, you'll land on a page that looks just like this. Um, you'll need to enter your email address, the same one that you used to register for the Oil Games, and you'll need to enter your password that you created at the time when you registered for the Oil Games in order to log in. Now, if you don't remember what that password is, uh, don't worry about it. You can reset your password here by clicking on Reset Password. But when you registered for the Oil Games, you should have received a confirmation email. In that confirmation email, there was would have been a link that you used to uh, create your password and instructions on creating your password for uh, for your login here. But if you can't remember what that is, just click on Reset Password. It's going to ask you to enter your email. Again, you just enter the same email address that you use to register for the Oil Games. And once you hit this Submit button here, it will send you another email with a reset link. So you just click on that link to reset your password. You'll type in your new password and it'll actually ask you to type it in twice. And then you're good to go. Then you could just go back to this page right here, enter your email address, and enter that new password that you entered and log in. All right. So I'm not going to reset my password right now. I'm just simply going to log in with my password that I know I already have. So and hit login. Since I clicked on the link to the first day of training, it'll actually take me to the first day of training. So great, we're successfully logged in. Could click on that little X there. And now this is our first day of training. So let me just walk you through a little bit. We're going to come back to this menu a little bit later. Okay. Uh, so for now, this is your first day training. You can see the date. Uh, you can see the title to the training. You could also see that you're in Premiere Push. Um, so it doesn't matter which game you're in right now watching this tutorial. I'm just for the purposes of this tutorial using pretending that I'm logged in or that I'm signed up for Premiere Push. So here, the as you scroll down a little bit, by the way, I have the format of this screen showing as if it was on a phone uh, because most people, about 75%, use phones. So this is what it looks like on a phone. I'll show you quickly at the end of this tutorial what it looks like on a desktop if you use your computer. So this top section is uh, the main video or audio uh, training for that day. Sometimes there's a couple other additional pieces of training that go with it. As in this case, there's another video here. You just click on the play button and it starts playing right there. And then I'm just going to pause that so it doesn't play throughout this whole video. Same thing with these audio tracks. You can click hey, on it, it starts playing. My and you can pause it and go through there. Okay, So you want to watch those, listen to those. And then once you've done that, you move to your assignments. For today, we have seven assignments. That's a lot. We don't have a lot of. We don't have uh, many days where you have that many assignments. Usually, there's two, three, or four assignments. That's uh, probably what the most common number of assignments are. We just break things into small, bite-sized chunks of activities that you need to do that day uh, to move your business forward. In this case, this day one, it's all about getting you ready and set up for the oil games, so you have everything you need and you're good to go to get started. All right. So you just go through, read the instructions for the assignment, do what it says. When you're done, you hit next. Okay, and it takes you to assignment number two. When you're done with assignment number two, again, you click the next button, and it takes you to assignment number three. Okay. Uh, you can also, if you just scroll down, you can see that you have assignment number four and five here. So if you need to go back to an assignment that you've done before, you can, oh, you need to remember, what did I do in assignment number one? You can always go back to assignment number one, and then you could go, okay, great, got that. Go back to assignment number three. And then you just move through uh, through all of these assignments, do them one by one, and complete all of them, okay? Uh, once you're on the last assignment, by the way, this one for, uh, for the first day, the last assignment there says copy and save the link below so you can always access your training. Like I said, you'll get always get an email and a text message with the link to that day's training. Okay, so for day one, you got the link for day one training, for the first day of training. But if any for any reason you don't get the email or you don't get the text message, don't need you don't need to worry about it at all. Uh, if you have this link right here at the bottom saved, then 
you can just go to that link and click on it and it'll take you to your training and then you could select whatever day you're working on right there, okay? So just make sure that you have that copied and saved and or bookmarked and that will help you out. Once you're done with the last training and you hit the next button, you get a congratulations. Each day there's a fun little gift for you that you could uh, look forward to when you're done. But once you've done that, make sure that you remember to report your points. And so how you report your points is you click on this final step, report your points button. So click here. And then all you need to do is go through your daily report and answer all of the questions. So these are the steps. These are the assignments that you had to do. And if you did them, you should be able to just answer yes to all of these assignments. Okay. So you just scroll through, answer all of those assignments as you're reporting your points. And then at the bottom, you'll just need to enter your email address, the same one that you use to register for the oil games and click submit report and that's it that's all you've got to do uh, in order to submit your points for for the report okay one thing I forgot to show you below the report button there's actually a resource section and this is where you'll find any resources or downloads that are associated with that day's training so as part of the first day's training, we have a path to diamond chart. So you could click on that and view that chart. Okay, you could also download this for yourself. You could print it if you'd like, whatever you'd like to do. This is uh, free resources for you to use. Sometimes there's PowerPoints and things like that. Okay, uh, we have the whole program outline. So if you want to see what each day looks like, you can click on that uh, right there. Okay, so just Go and look through, see what all the resources are that are available for you uh, for that given day's training. Now, each day will be different. Some days don't have any resources because there's nothing else that you need to go download or use or look at, and that's fine. So if you don't see any resources here, don't worry about it. Um, these are just those resources that are associated with that day's assignments. All right, so now let's scroll back up to the top of the screen and let's talk about this menu, okay? So we've finished talking about today's training and if you click on the link for each day's training as they come day to day in your text message or in your emails, you'll always be taken directly to that day's training, but you can always navigate to whatever you'd want to. Let me show you how to do that. So if you click on this menu button in the top right corner, you have another sub menu that shows up, my training, my resources, all games, your profile and log out. So if you wanted to log out, you always can. If you wanted to change your password, you would go under profile and this is where you would change your password if you're logged in. So you can change that if you'd like from time to time. Let's start here with my training because this is where you're probably gonna spend most of your time other than the individual day training. So if you go to my training, it will take you to this little menu here and you can see this has a calendar for the month so it just lays out all of the trainings that are from the beginning of the program all the way to the very end, okay? Um, and so if you want to click on today's training, you can, and it'll take you to today's training. Um, we actually, let me go back to the My Training section. You, we also allow you to go a few days forward because some people can plan ahead and say, well, I won't have any time on... Uh, let's say on Wednesday or Thursday to do any work. So I'm gonna go do Wednesday and Thursday's training today because today I have more time. So we let you go a few days forward, but we never let you go too much forward because we really want you to follow along the training as it's given uh, as closely day by day, okay? But we do let you go always a few days forward. So you'll notice that today's date is highlighted in green as you move forward tomorrow's date you know tomorrow if you if you were to open this tomorrow then the second day would be highlighted as green and the previous ones would be a lighter green with a check mark as long as you've reported for all the points for that day if not you can still go back to it and report to it even if that day is passed no problem at all so you could always go backwards to whatever day you want but forward will uh, we only allow you to go just a few days forward okay so let's say you wanted to go forward then you can go forward and you could see what tomorrow's training is and you could work through those assignments right there. As you can see, there's no resources below here because day two just doesn't have any uh, resources with it. And if you're done with it, you could also report for that day's training, okay? So let me go again to my training. 
If you scroll down, you'll also see that there's resources. So these are all of the resources that are made available to you for the first few days of training. So all of these days that you see that are in black, those are opened and unlocked to you. So all of the resources that are associated with those days of training, you'll find down here at the bottom, okay? Now, as more days open up, you'll have more resources that are available to you. So they'll all just start piling up uh, down here at the bottom. And so you'll have more and more resources available to you so that by the end of the program, all of the resources you've done through the program are there available to you, okay? Uh, let's in the main menu you also have uh, my resources button that just takes you directly to that my resource section if you scroll back to the top and go to the main menu you can also see this button that says all games so if I click on that it takes you to a main menu page where you have all of the games and you can see that you have reach elite premier push silver sprint gold rush platinum pursuit and diamond dash so as you can see uh, if I were to click on Silver Sprint, nothing happens. That game is not unlocked for me because I'm registered for Premier Push. So if I click on Premier Push, it takes me to where I was just a little minute ago, where all of my training for Premier Push is found. But what if I want to see what all of the people in Reach Elite are doing? Because let's say I have team members below me that are working on Reach Elite. I want to follow along and see what they're working on. I can do that. And now here for the lower rank games, actually all of the content is unlocked for you. So you can access all of the content for any rank that's lower than the rank that you're signed up in. So you can actually click to day 30 if you want, or the 30th of the month, and see what they're working on that day and access that content, those assignments. So you always can get whatever you need, any training that's for the rank lower than the rank that you're pushing towards um, you have access to that. Okay, I think that about covers everything, and I hope you enjoy the Royal Games. Have a wonderful day.